Hello, this is part two of what we're, we're going to simulate these like balls bouncing around and colliding. So what we're going to do today is uh, make multiple of them and make a class for the ball so like we can write the other functions and like circles and stuff. So um, yeah, if you haven't watched part one, I would say you probably should. And so uh, let's just create the class. And class, let's just call it circle. And there was a constructor which is like yeah, defining the variables. And we're just going to pass in P. V and A for position, velocity, and acceleration. And so equals P and this dot V equals V, this dot A equals A. So I did this instead of like an X and a Y for like each of them. A P5 dot JS actually has something for making vectors and like it's basically two variables and also like a lot of functions. More stuff that would be like really helpful. So we have that. So we can write a function in this class called show. Instead of like getting the position and like displaying it here, we can just show point p dot x, p dot y, right? So that's basically all you need for show for now. And now we have another one called move. So basically p dot add v, that's how you do it here. And then v dot add a for adding the velocity. So yeah, there's a function in the p.js library that basically adds this well same here. So basically it changes the p and then it changes the v. I think it might actually make sense to put the v first because so it's calculated first, but something like that. And now we can just remove all of this. Oh, uh, let's create, we need an array. So like bar circles equals that and then bar number. So amount, let's just say 20 for now or 10. Let's just create a variable called bar size. Let's say 20 for 20. So for like the size of the object. What we're gonna do is for, for let i equals zero i less number plus plus. So yeah, this basically just creates yeah like stuff. A loop through all of them and I'm going circle dot circle, let's just say circle i equals new circle yeah circles equals new circle uh, we're going to pass in create vector 5 and 5 for the position create vector so that's how we make vectors in uh, p5.js create vector um, 0 0 for the velocity and create vector um, i'm spelling all these wrong yeah so create vector 0 and 0 0.1 for acceleration so now if we if I'm correct i think i should Displayed everything correctly, so for let's just do circle in circles and of. So basically, this loops through all of the stuff in the array and gives you so each circle is like one of the elements. Circle dot show, circle dot new. I am not actually sure if it's oh, you just change the value in circle, so I guess do something else like say ball or something. Yeah, script line zero. Okay, this is a line. Okay, that was stupid. I took like way too long, probably 20 minutes. But the problem is that I have to add this dot because yeah, it, it, the variable doesn't exist. It's like this dot p in this object. I'm in class. But yep, yeah, if you add this dot, everything should work now and yay. Okay, we can like also move everything else to like its own function. I know walls, I just call it walls, so like when you hit the walls, it collides. Let's just check if this dot p dot y is greater than or equal to 600. Um, yep, so we can just do this dot v dot y times equals negative 1. Now, if we do that, and nothing is working because we haven't called the function yet, so p dot balls dot balls and then all dot walls. And, yep, okay, so that's working. Yep, we can also add something else. Like, we can also check if this dot p dot x is greater greater than or equal to 600 or it is less than or equal to 0 then what we do is this dot v dot x multiply equals negative 1 so what will happen is like if we give it a bit of velocity sideways oh that's downwards okay i mean sideways yep see you can see that it works Perfectly. Okay, another small thing that we're gonna do is instead of uh, 600, we're actually gonna do 600 minus size because the position is actually calculated from like the center. So so it kind of like goes in like the wall a little bit. So now if we do minus size, that should work. And because I messed up, it shouldn't be size, it should be size divided by 2 because size is its diameter, but we only need to subtract it by the radius. So, yep, you can see that works, plus 2 here because, you know. And, yep, so, we have a bunch of stuff. And you said, like, we made 20, so why is there 1? It's because 
actually a lot, all of them are in the same place. So if we made it a bit randomer, or like let's say we can do five, I, I don't know, like zero, and then yeah, it, there's this random number thing, like so you can generate a random number between them, so neg negative five, five, and then if we do that, you can see that there's a bunch of them now. Yeah, so you can just like randomize uh, all of the velocities and you can see that works really nice. Uh, we can also put this to the position thing, but yep, so this time I'm going to do, I don't know, 240 and 360, so like two, so it's like in the middle ish. Canvas is 600 by 600, so that's the middle, and you can see that it works perfectly fine. And that's basically what I'm going to do in this video. And the next video, what we're going to do is see how to make the different balls that collide with each other because now it's only colliding with the wall. And yep, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you liked it, and thank you for watching.